Welcome back. My name is Dr. Zia. Uh, we were discussing the strategic analysis tools, strategy analysis tools. This is my lecture on strategic planning and management. Today I'm going to discuss the fourth analysis tools for strategy. Fourth analysis tool for strategy that is called four corners analysis. The four corner analysis is developed by Michael Porter. The four corners analysis is a useful tool for analyzing competitors. Remember that it emphasizes that the objective of competitive analysis should always be on generating insights into the future. I repeat, it emphasizes that the objective of competitive analysis should be generating the insights for future for decision making. The model can be used to develop a, prof, uh, a sort of uh, what I call profile of the likely strategy changes a competitor might make and how successful they may be. So on the basis of this, we say that it determines each competitor's profitable, um, probable response to the range of feasible strategic moves other competitors might make. It also determines each competitor's profit, uh, probable reaction to the range of industry shift and environment changes that may occur. So the four corners actually refers the four diagnostic components that are essential to competitor analysis, including the future goals, the current strategy, assumptions and uh, capabilities all right so on the basis of these let's talk about these four corners analysis uh, the first one is motivation driver and assumptions which include financial goals corporate culture organizational structure leadership teams backgrounds external constraints or uh, business philosophy as well. The second corner is called action strategy and capability cur for current strategy. It includes few questions or few points. Let me share with you. Uh, like how the business creates value or uh, where the business is uh, choosing to invest. It could be based on the relationship and networks the business has developed. That helps the that helps to understand the competitor's future strategy. So, understanding the following four components can help predict how competitors may respond to given situation. So, the third one was motivation drivers. It includes analyzing the competitor's goals that assists in understanding whether they are satisfied with their current performance and market position. This helps predict how they might react to external forces and how likely it is that they will change the strategy. And as they change the strategy, your position or your strategy can be aligned accordingly. Then, Motivation uh, management assumptions could include the perception and assumptions that a competitor has about itself. The industry and other companies may influence its strategic decisions. That's why analyzing these assumptions can help identify the competitor's biases and blind spots. So, then action strategy comes in which include which says that a company's strategy determines how a competitor competes in the market however there can be a difference between intended strategy what i call the strategy as stated in annual reports or in interviews or in public statements and the realized strategy means the strategy that the company is following in practice the actual strategy as evidenced by acquisi uh, acquisitions uh, capital expenditure and new product development what we call npd where the current strategy is yielding satisfactory results 
it is reasonable to assume that an organization will continue to compete in the same manner as in uh, as it is currently doing and the last one is action capabilities which uh, says that the drivers the assumptions and the strategy of the organization will determine the nature likelihood and timing of the competitors actions however an organizational capabilities will determine its ability to initiate or respond to external forces all right so we covered today the porter's five forces model uh, five forces uh, sorry uh, porter's uh, four corners analysis the porter's five forces we covered in the previous lecture this was porter's uh, four corner analysis my name is dr zia i thank you very much please subscribe and share with your friends